graduate and PhD training is in the realm of uh, chemical physics. And today I'm going to run through a few undergraduate level uh, physics questions. Uh, so our first one here <clears throat> reads a proton which has a charge of uh, plus E and a mass of MP. <clears throat> A deuteron, which has the same charge but double the mass, and an alpha particle, which has double the charge and four times the mass of a proton, are accelerated from rest through a common potential difference. Each of the particles enters a uniform magnetic field with its velocity in a direction perpendicular to the B field. The proton moves in a circular path of radius rp. In terms of rp, we need to determine the radius of the circular orbit for the deuteron and the radius for the alpha particle. Uh, sorry, one second. So <clears throat> to start us off, we're just going to deal with the proton. So if we're looking for, uh, so if we're talking about a proton traveling through a potential difference, delta U is equal to Q delta V. minus Q delta V. The reason I say minus Q delta V is because all particles move from uh, high to low potential difference. Um, and so, or from high potential energy to low potential energy, so uh, delta U will always be <clears throat> negative. Um, and so delta Ke, or the change in kinetic energy, is always going to be negative, the change in potential. <clears throat> so it will just equal Q delta V. Now if the particle starts from rest, that means that it's Ke final minus Ke initial is equal to Q delta V. And that means, since it starts from rest, that that's zero. So our final kinetic energy is just equal to Q delta V. Um, and this will be true for all of our particles. Um, the only difference is going to be what the charge is, but the potential difference is the same. So that means 1 half mv squared is equal to q delta v. And then we can solve some extra stuff here. <clears throat> we can solve for our velocity uh, by just rearranging this expression. So our velocity is then 2q delta v over m all square root. And for our proton, this v <clears throat> This V is going to be equal to 2E delta V over MP. Okay, so there's our, our velocity for our proton. 
now if we <clears throat> so this is our velocity leaving um, our charge our delta V region prior to entering our uh, our B region so the force on a charged particle due to a perpendicular B field is QV cross or QV I'll just put it in properly I guess QV cross B um, which just means that at least in this case that if V <clears throat> is perpendicular to B, which it is, that the expression simplifies to just QVB. Okay, and so then So then the, <clears throat> the way we rationalize now, if it moves in a circular path of radius RP, so this force then has to equal our centripetal force. <clears throat> okay, so our centripetal force is F equals mv squared over r. So then this, our magnetic force, is our centripetal force. So that means that qvb is equal to mv squared over r. Or rearranging for our r, because we want our r <coughs> our radius for our orbit. So that means for the proton that means for the proton we have uh, rearranging this R equals mv squared over qvb although I guess at this point this is still just general so mv over qb so that's our, our radius expression for any of the particles actually um, but specifically for the proton we will have um, RP equals MP uh, over EB <clears throat> and then recall um, before I had that V equals root 2E delta V over B or MP sorry over MP so substituting that in, okay, and then solving this through, so MP over root MP just leaves you with the square root MP, E over E, <clears throat> a square root of E over E is just going to give you a square root of E on the bottom. So this is going to give you a 1 over B, square root 2MP delta V over E. Um, yeah. So then that is our RP. So that's our radius for our proton orbit. <clears throat> and obviously that'll come back, but first we need to solve for uh, the deuteron. 
and the alpha particle. So for the deuteron, we have our charge is plus E, and our mass is 2MP. And so we can take some of the expressions from above. <clears throat> so recall that um, from our kinetic energy expression, we have that um, Ke final is um, Q delta V or uh, 1 half mv squared is Q delta V. So then V is 2 Q delta V over m square root. So then we can just plug in our charges and our mass. So the V for our deuteron is just the square root of 2E delta V over 2MP E delta V over MP. So there's the velocity for our deuteron. <clears throat> um, and then again, from our circular orbit, we have that um, R equals um, MV over QB. So that'll be the radius of all of our orbits. Um, and so plugging in the values, we have 2 mp v, uh, vd over uh, e b. And then plugging in this value for the velocity, and then again, we can move the E inside the square root and the MP inside the square root. And <clears throat> now to compare this to RP, right? Remember that RP is 1 over B square root of 2e delta v over or over mp so we almost have that but this 2 um, needs to be moved a bit of it needs to be moved inside the square root so recall that um, 2 is root 2 times root 2 so one of those root 2's can go inside so then our D is uh, root 2 over B, root 2 MP delta V over E, which is just root 2 RP, right? So I just use this expression and substitute it in for all the rest there. So it's just square root of 2 times the proton radius. Um, and that's that's all we were looking for for the deuteron. <clears throat> and then for the alpha particle, we want to repeat that. So for the alpha particle, we have a charge of 2e and a mass of 4mp. Again, returning to our kinetic energy expression, um, we have that V equals uh, square root of 2m, uh, 2e delta, 2q delta V over m, I believe. And write that one 
down. And I want to derive it every time. <laughs> 2q delta v over m. Yep. So, <clears throat> uh, substituting in our, our given values, we have square root 4e delta v over uh, 4mp. So those cancel. Um, so that is just equal to the square root of e delta v over mp. Okay, so then that's our alpha particle mass, or <clears throat> alpha particle velocity, and then our radial expression is then is just um, mv over qb. So our alpha particle radius <clears throat> will be substituting in the, the relevant values for mp v alpha over uh, 2e v. And then substituting in our, our velocity for our alpha particle and dividing out this 2 here to mp over eb square root e delta v over mp. And then recalling that our <clears throat> And then moving in the MPs and the E's, we have R alpha equals 2 over B, square root MP delta V over E. Um, and then remember that our P is uh, 1 over B, square root 2 MP delta v over e we get and then we can move the part of this 2 inside by using that 2 is root 2 root 2 so then our alpha is just uh, root 2 over b square root of 2 mp delta v over e which is just root 2 rp and so then that's the radius for the alpha particle. And so then we have that, um, just to wrap things up here, we have for the, we have our P for the proton, and then our alpha or our uh, deuteron is root two RP, and our alpha is also root two RP. Okay, so now let's, if we check the solution here, um, so that's the, the B field force has to be equal to our centripetal force. So then we can solve for R, um, uh, which is the expression we got for our RP, a little bit differently arranged. But then using that, we get for the deuteron root two RP and for the alpha particle root two RP, which Good, so the solution is correct.